Hi, if you were able to watch a few episodes of The West Wing by now, then you've probably already had a decent introduction to the presidency. I'd still highly encourage you to keep watching this particular video because we're going to branch out a little bit from just the, the job of being a president. Aside from really being the figurehead representative of the country, the president also sits at the top of the vast federal, federal bureaucracy. When a president first takes office, they put in place what is known as their cabinet. They use the job title secretary to describe their position, which makes it sound like they're advisors to the president. In practice, though, they tend to take their responsibilities as the heads of the various federal agencies very seriously and tend to fight on behalf of their agency over you know, advising the president on policies. Now, in popular culture, it's hard to find examples of the cabinet members. One exception to this is the TV show Designated Survivor. Now, this is another Netflix production. The main character, played by Kiefer Sutherland, is the Secretary of Transportation. Definitely a not a very sexy position. However, because of the massive terrorist attack on the leadership of the country, he ends up becoming president. Say what now? President? That's right. There's something called the Order of Succession. For the Secretary of Transportation become, to become the president, a lot of people have to die. Namely, the President, Vice President, Speaker of the House, President Pro Tempore of the Senate, Secretary of State, uh, Secretary of the Treasury, Secretary of Defense, Attorney General, and Secretary of the Interior, Secretary of Agriculture, Secretary of Commerce, Labor, Health and Human Services, Housing and Urban Development. All those people would have to die. <laughs> That's right, Secretary of Transportation is number 13 in the Order of Succession. Now, for a film that deals with this issue about Order of Succession, uh, there's the Harrison Ford movie, Air Force One, and it's kind of an action movie. There's also a comedy called Dave that's, uh, that's pretty good. Also, some episodes in, the later, in later seasons of The West Wing get into it a little bit as well. Now, on the flip side of this, there's another comedy... A TV show that I recommend called Parks and Recreation. It is definitely worth checking out. It's hilarious. And it follows a government agency at just about the most local level possible. It really is the, the small grassroots level of government. With this show, it's important to realize that the ultimate authority for this bureaucracy is the state government, not the federal government. One of the things that makes the American system so darn complicated is that the entire system of the three branches of government is replicated 50 times. That's once for each state. And now at that state level, the highest authority is called the governor. And each state has its own Supreme Court and even its own legislature. Although not every state has both a Senate and House of Representatives. So there are some subtle differences between the state. Bringing this full circle back to the presidency, there's a film called All the Way. Now, it's a recent film about the controversial president Lyndon Johnson, also known as LBJ. Before getting into the executive branch, LBJ had a storied career in the Senate, which really makes him an interesting character because of just how much he knew about the system and how skilled he was at using it. Thank you for watching this video about the presidency and film. We talked about The West Wing, Designated Survivor, Air Force One, Dave, Parks and Recreation, and all the way. The next topic is one of my favorites, the Supreme Court and Judicial System. I'll see you then.